Welcome to Focus on Learning. My name is Kim Nigro. I'm the lead ACE teacher at Rocky Mountain High School. And today we're going to be talking a lot about service learning. And so I'd like uh, my guests to introduce themselves to you. Hi, I'm Laura Drews. I'm a language arts teacher at Rocky Mountain High School. Thanks, Laura. Hi, I'm Jessica Davidson, and I'm a junior at Rocky Mountain High School. Hi, I'm Carly Sandal, and I am a senior at Rocky Mountain High School. Hi, my name is Kazim Tercan. I'm a uh, salon owner, Tuana Hair Design. Tawana, 5,000 plus inches of hair this year. Can you guys seven, believe 7, that? 000. Was it 7,000? Seven, I apologize, Kazim. Over 7,000 inches of hair we, we collected our salon with our staff. So That's amazing. It was That's really amazing. good. Yeah. Well, let's let our um, guests <coughs> know what, Carly, start us off. What is Hair Razor? What is that event? Hair Razor is a huge community event and it is held um, at one of the high schools in Fort Collins. And what it is, is people come in from all over northern Colorado and even the Denver area and they come in and they cut off their hair to go to make wigs for cancer patients. So if they cut off at least eight inches, um, we ship that off and hopefully it'll help somebody in the long run who's dealing with cancer. It's amazing. Um, Jess, why don't you tell us a little bit what were some of the specifics this year with this year's event? Because this is the third year, correct? Right. Tell us a little bit about this year's event in particular. So Carly and I both got on board at last year's event, and last year we set a goal of raising 8,000 inches of hair. We advertised a whole bunch within the Rocky community, the Fort Collins community, and we ended up doubling our goal and raising 16,000 inches of hair. We were absolutely floored. Mm -hmm. This okay. year, we decided to set our sights a little mm -hmm. higher, and we set our goal for 20,000 inches. So we kept some of the great advertising techniques, kept some of the great people added in some new ones, like Ms. Drews and mm -hmm. some other people on the committee, and really collaborated. We had the advertising down. We had people in Rocky really, really knew what Hair Razor was, and they were excited to get involved. So at this year's event, we went, we were going for the goal of 20,000 inches. We had some old salons that we'd worked with before, some new salons, and at the end of the day, when we announced how much hair we had, we said that we had 18,835 inches. Right. A salon, Great Clips, walked in with a huge box of hair and pushed us over our goal to 20,250 inches. It was an absolutely incredible moment. It was so, you had to be there to feel that. That was just amazing. So Jess, how many salons participated in this year's event? Were there more than, there were at least I would say 15 salons, and how many stylists do you think? We have, I'd say 27, 28 stylists this okay. year, which was really, Good. really awesome to have that big of an, that big group of people coming out. And Kazem, you had how many stylists? Well, we have, um, we have six, seven, but we have 11 people came to, uh, to all our staff. They donate their time, so nice. it, was, it was really good. So we all came in, and we, we brought a bunch of hair with us. And then we cut a lot of people's hair. We were saving our hairs for the, through the year mm -hmm. because this is our third year that we won the trophy. Wow. So we, we just, we like to compete a little, little bit with the community and we're just competitive and we're, we're good salon, we're European salon. Yes. And so, but the thing still honestly just helped to people and just giving back to the community. So because we have, I'm in Fort Collins salon, Tuana Hair Design, mm -hmm. so I'm always here. So this is the only a little salon in Fort Collins. Um, to want a hair design, raised it this much hair, and then we did over 7,000 inches of hair. So we take the trophy, traveling trophy, and, and third year in a row, third in a year in a row Correct. to take to the, our salon. So we're really excited. So we help, we help to give the give back because people doesn't have hair. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Just because I all my all my life I have never done anything different, but I have all several years I see and so many of my clients. Honestly, at least 10 people I know have breast cancers or some kind of cancers, mm -hmm. honestly. Mm -hmm. And then I have some uh, cousin's uh, father, excuse cousin's husband passed mm -hmm. away mm -hmm. uh, from the cancer. So it just, it's just kind of emotional. I like to help. And then, you know, just uh, we like to, we do our salon, we do our 10, 15 events a year, all those, any kind of um, St. Mary's schools, anybody wants to auction, silent auctions, we donate, uh, we donate, honestly. Anybody comes in for any kind of so charity events or something, they can welcome to come our salon, walk in. I, our manage, my manager can help them or, you know, so our, our, our staff, anybody will be, would like to help them to get, um, help, help to give back to the community. So right. because we, we appreciate how much we got from the community. So we want to give back to people. Right. So we, we always like to do that. So. And you would and say, I'm sorry, go ahead, Laura. What don't understand too is when you come in to donate hair, yeah. they don't just hack it off and you walk out. Yeah. Right. 
they some of the people got some fabulous new hairdos from some really really great hairstylists and that was so much fun Definitely. to watch. I Definitely. love watching um, there, were, there was a young girl yeah. and she was just so darn cute cut her hair I mean yeah. you styled it yep. she looks yep. so She's, beautiful she looks really cute and yeah. we put on the video and we, we put on the YouTube so oh, YouTube and Twana That's hair awesome. design uh, for Collins when you 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 google it in YouTube and it comes out I so went to your website videos, and we have thousands of hits in it honestly it's just people are liking to watch it's kind of fun I go when I get bored I just go and watch it just, people are screaming it's just energy it's amazing all this all these young young kids over there everybody donating their hair they're all donating their time and People are screaming. Somebody says 200 inches of hair. Somebody's seen. It's just yeah. out running, you know. We just that's why I've been in Europe. We did a lot of hair shows and events and that kind of stuff. So I'm just. I think anybody wants to r donate their hair, they should wait till next year or something. Or they come to our salon, they get discount mm -hmm. when they donate their hair. They get a really good discount, so they can get they can get to donate. So we don't make any money out of it. Right. So Right. This is honest. You know, and you guys honest. save the hair throughout yeah, the year throughout and then the bring year, it. Yeah, we, we save the year. We save the hair and we, mm -hmm. we, we just give them discounts. And we have a really good salon and we just, we love to do that. I so say this year, the hair that was brought in that had been collected over the year really pushed us up over the top. There was so much hair that had been brought in over the year, which is awesome yes. because even after the event ends that day, right. it continues through the year. Its impact keeps going, which is so cool to see. So you guys, awesome. why don't you tell, why don't the students, why don't you guys tell a little bit about um, what you learn through participation in an event as, you know, being in an event, I know it's so emotional and we're, you know, you guys are given from your heart, but what are some of the skills you guys feel like you learned um, in organizing and putting on this event for the last two years? Um, well, you really learn how to um, say, like organize and kind of create the, you know, how to organize people and to coordinate volunteers and to um, really communicate with people throughout the community. It's great for the ACE kids because I'm sure mm -hmm. you want to talk ACE, the yeah, uh, assisted cooperative, is that what it is? Alternative, Alternative cooperative education. Yeah, Sorry, definitely. it's some of the A, but anyway. It's all good. Um, but it's so good to see, it's good for those kids, it's good for, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it was good for me to be able to coordinate, you know, what, we had 80 volunteers that day. Yeah. And learn absolutely. how to really make it work, so that was awesome for me. What the, about you, Jess? The thing that is so cool about the Hair Razor event is that it touches everyone's heart that is involved. Mm -hmm. And so you learn how to work with people in an emotional environment. And, you know, whenever you're in the workplace further on in life, it'll, it's going to be so beneficial because emotions run high. And, you know, face-to-face -face communication is so important for kids this age. I don't think we get it enough. And we learned how to utilize face-to-face -face communication as well as a lot of technology things. We'd send out reminder texts to our volunteers and, um, you know, just getting to work with people in an environment that changes their life. You're part of a day that they will remember forever. And learning how to handle their emotions and your emotions, working under that adrenaline and communicating so that there's no negative experiences that day is just an incredible thing to know at 17 years old. And Laura, you can probably talk a little bit about this. I know we did this event towards the end of the school year and we're all, we're all, we've all done a lot this year. And so, um, but how does it feel that day when you're, when you're there watching your students and students from all over the district, like coming together um, to do something for the community? How does that feel as a, as a staff member? Well, I, it's, there's no words. I mean, I, I just get teary and I worked closely with the students and, and haven't seen them now for a couple of weeks after. It's like, but I need to see my kids again. <laughs> you get so, so focused on this, this goal. And, and with so, service learning too, as, as Carly pointed out, we, there's a lot of diversity amongst the volunteers. We have, you know, integrated services kids. We have kids from Key Club. We've got kids from every, every walk of life. And, and they learn that by giving back no matter how bad you might feel someday, when you can give back, that makes you feel fabulous. And, and one of the, the other greatest things about service learning is the self-efficacy of kids, because mm -hmm. then they can realize they, you can change the world. One person can make a big difference. Definitely. And these are two great examples of that. And, and, you know, and I think it's a, service learning promotes a, a lifelong desire to, to give back. And, and watching these kids do this, it just, I mean, we were balling. I mean, we were, we were just crying because they're just so selfless. That's awesome. I know. Yeah, that's great. how I feel. I, know, I feel I just, the same way. There's definitely something to be said for how humbling it is and for 
how much service-based learning affects the kids at Rocky between Hair Raiser and Adopt-A-Family mm -hmm. and you know all the money that we raised for the Cancer Center this year, I can, you see a change in the kids. There's something special about it. You know, as people are counting up money and announcing it and everything, or counting up hair and announcing it, there's something to be said for the excitement. And people always say that teenagers, you know, teenagers are bad kids, teenagers aren't inspired, but I know 80 kids who spent an entire Sunday giving up their time to help people without getting any payment or reward other than the fact that they were just doing it. Absolutely, I, and it is, it's just, it's incredibly heartwarming, and I think um, that's what motivates all of us, you know, I, I think that idea of giving back, um, it's, it's the best, I mean, that's the, the highest level of, of learning it's, and, it's and cooperating. Learning. It's authentic Absolutely. learning, too, it's, it's on the spot, true, you learn true leadership, and it's not like, you, know, you can't create this in a classroom, right. it's, it's the most amazing things, and kids are so, um, creative and just so you know problem solving on the spot and just getting after it and, and it's it's it just it's just the most amazing thing to, to watch teenagers are, yeah. are really special and they get a bad rap a lot of times but actually I was really impressed with those young kids because every every salon had some few people to mm -hmm. volunteers to help so these guys were helping us you know counting the hairs and you know, they were just like, they were so helpful. They were just helping a lot. It's just, it is true though, that just f young people, these guys are our future, right? So these are, that's why this, they, it doesn't matter to do little things or big things or whatever. And then they were really proven and some, when they can grow, they can come to some place doing just little things, especially, especially this kind of organizations. They were helping so much. They were giving true leadership, helping out. Somebody was saying, this girl was saying, let me, th let me do it. Let me take care of it. Let me do it. They helped us so much and ha raising this hair, just doing, giving back to the community, you know, just, yeah. just this razor, hair raising was everything for us, yeah. actually. Just without, I, I say again, without, without being hair, without having hair, because I see those people when they do like, lose their hair. Right. That's, I think that's the worst thing in the world. They, they when they, they have put wigs. Right. I have people who walk in with wigs, and I, first I thought that it's just human hair, Sometimes you wouldn't know they have a wig. Right. You know, they, they, look, they look like really good. So, so they, they feel good about it. They feel good, look good. That's really, really important. Well, I can I'm, imagine people yeah. without a hair. So. Well, let's, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Carly now. It's a perfect sure. segue because, right. um, Carly, would you mind sharing with the audience yeah. a little bit about your personal experience with, with what you've had to go through with Of course. Um, hair? When I was 16, um, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma which is a type of cancer that attacks the lymphatic system in your body. Okay. And so um, I, had a, I had a tumor, and so I had to go through a ton of chemotherapy because of the way where the tumor was located. They couldn't, you know, take it out. Mm -hmm. So um, because of that, because of the chemotherapy, I immediately started losing my hair. And so two weeks after, my hair was, I mean, my hair was, I mean, down to, you know, past my shoulders. Right. And uh, it started to fall out, and it was falling out in clumps. Mm -hmm. And I eventually started to, you know, I eventually had to just shave my head because I just got sick it's of gone. watching my hair yeah. fall out, you know. Yeah. Right. But um, luckily, because I went through, um, I got a free wig from the, um, what is it, the Locks cancer? Yeah, it was Locks of Love. Locks of Love. Perfect. They gave me, Perfect. I got a free wig out of Perfect. that. And it was awesome. Awesome. my wig, I mean, it, when you're in high school and you don't have hair, you automatically get labeled as somebody who, you know, is either sick or going through something hard. And, you know, people automatically know what, that you're, not you know normal I guess is what I would say, is how I would describe that and so um, because of my wigs I was still Carly I was still normal and it totally it kept my confidence up it kept you know kept me happy and so I finally finished chemo five months after the fact and I was you know my hair's grown back since then but my wig I mean I credit my wig you for have so much now, so. yeah it's, <laughs> it's still you know yeah. doing yeah. Styles it's still you know it's fresh yes. it's, it's got a fresh yes. start so but yeah awesome. that was my and then I got involved with hair razor because of that whole experience so and yes. what would you feel is the, the greatest thing about doing the hair raiser event I mean just for you personally because you're a senior you're getting ready to graduate and awesome. pass just, this on yeah it's knowing that I'm you know helping another woman feel the way I did with my wig it's just knowing that I'm helping somebody else have that experience and be able to afford because honestly wigs are expensive, expensive. Exactly. wigs if you want a human hair wig they're 800 to a thousand dollars exactly they're, if you want longer it gets really more money so yeah they sell, go up to four or five thousand yeah I don't sell it or something but yeah the, the extensions you have to have a hair to have an extension they're super expensive yeah. so <laughs> when and when you're going through chemo I mean my treatments ended up costing over two hundred thousand dollars so no. wigs no. don't 
you know, you can't take That's the money like away to go, yeah, yeah you have to get better insurance first. Insurance doesn't cover that, right? No, insurance doesn't cover any yeah. of it. So okay. it's it's helping women that are, you know, older, <clears throat> excuse me, older women right. have that, you know, forum and have that available to hopefully. Absolutely. Make them feel better. So. Absolutely. Awesome. And Carly has been our, our student yeah, leader. She helped us she, a lot. Um, she's amazing. She's, she's been involved. And Jessica will be a senior next year. Yeah. and. Um, take she'll it take it, take it on, and yeah. take it over next year. Um, I just wanted to have you guys share, and, and Kazem, you can share as well. Yeah. Um, how does it feel to collaborate? You know, I know the high schools are really competitive. You know, football and baseball and things yeah. like that. We're competing all the time. Um, I think one of my big motivations for getting involved, um, and Mr. Lopez kind of had this idea, so I'm going to give him the credit, was to have a collaborative event where the high schools could come together for a community cause. Um, how does that feel for you guys? And I, I mean, maybe you guys have a story about that day. Um, I know we had photographers from Fort Collins High School, um, all over the all over the school district. So can you guys share a little bit about what that meant to you? Oh yeah, we had every high school was yeah, represented. Every, every high school. Was so um, would you guys want to share a little bit about that? How that feels to work with peers that maybe don't go to our school? It's so interesting to me that at a football game you can be looking across the field from somebody and say, oh, you're such a jerk, you know, we got to beat you. And then you're looking across them from a table and they're handing you a bag of hair and you just feel humbled and you feel a massive amount of gratitude towards them. And mm -hmm. I think it's so, so cool that for, you know, even if it's just for that day right. and even if the next week we go back and we want to win against that school and track, we still, for that day, we're not Rocky and Fossil, we're not Collins and Pooter, yes. we're right. students, right. we're coming together for a cause, yeah. we're volunteers, and we're wanting to make our community, our world, you know, our friends a better place, feel better. Mm -hmm. It's, you can't even put it into words. It's very, awesome. very cool. What about you, Carly? What do you think? It's, it was just, it was really interesting because I had students, I had gone on Facebook and I had a big Facebook event for the hair razor. And I was sending out, you know, just mass messages to everybody. And I had students from, I mean, immediately from Collins, Fossil, and Pooter willing to advertise the event for me at their schools, willing to come over and pick up flyers, willing to help me and volunteer the entire time that day, get their friends involved. I mean, the immediate support that was shown through from every single high school and the kindness and just the caring personalities, it's... It just shows you the teenagers, you know, some, we don't deserve the rep that you know, we tend to have. Because they're all just so, I mean, everybody was so willing and so wonderful that day. And, you know, they followed through with what they promised they would do. And just I, from every school, I, I, you know, it wasn't all one at all. So I know. And it's just the idea yeah. of community. And I think, you know, Chasm, you know, all the salons that donate. I mean, six hours on a on a Sunday after you've had a busy work week. Your one day yeah. off. Um, your one day off sometimes. It, yeah, it's, it's only Sundays. We're the only Sundays we close at the salon. But the thing is, when the, the subject you were saying about, because of the that day, all the different students. I I thought everybody was in the same school. I see only thing it was just one team. It was love, and just it was sharing. There was. And there was hope there, honestly. Right. Honestly, they were, everybody was together. It was amazing. I didn't think it was. I thought everybody was going to the same school. No. So that it was no. interesting. That's good. I'm it was glad. Interesting. So it's changed no, your perception. And, and there was no bit, competing yeah. at all. Everybody was just become one team and just like love, hope, and everything. So that was that was great experience for us. We loved the girls. Everybody was smiley. Everybody was happy. It was just this. Is, I wish everything can be like that, honestly. I, because when you help people, people get together. They become team. So I wish that honestly everything gets instead of getting competing. We were we were even just like other salons and we were competing. We were just going talking to each other, right. other salons there. Just become become friends. You just, guys put on a great you know, show. Yeah, yeah because you thank you, thank you. <laughs> it was awesome. Because scissors, yeah, yeah, because we believe there is enough people and there's enough hair everywhere. So oh, yeah. we don't. Yeah. We just love our Absolutely. our other salon friends and everybody. So how is the one stylist that you had that cut herself at the end? Did she recover? <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 She had to be so <laughs> tired by the yeah. end of that day. Yeah. She was so busy. So many no, no breaks. Yeah. It's She's constant. Oh, constant. This guy's flow amazing. People. Constant. Yeah, yeah. actually, I see even a lot of happy pictures we put on the Facebook and stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you guys go, anybody go to Anna Hair, and if they go to uh, check, check it out, to Anna Hair Design for Collins, and they can see our Facebook. And we put a lot of cool, happy pictures. Honestly, I see it. I thought it was all happy. People were so smiling and all the things that our stylists was, and stuff. It was, it was, it was amazing. I, you see a lot of I smiles. love it. You see a lot of mm -hmm. tears. You yeah. see, you know, it plays on everybody's emotions because 
you can walk into a room and say, raise your hand if you've been affected by cancer, right. and every single hand will go yeah. up in the air. Yeah, another okay. funny story, sorry, to tell you, tell you guys. <laughs> because, a good one. yeah, because <laughs> what happened, you know, you say some of the lot of tears, some of the girls that came in and then with their mother, so they just say, okay, so we, they want to cut their hair, but sorry, we have to have at least eight inches. She's, the girl's a girl comes, goes crying. I said, you cannot cry if you don't want to <laughs> cut your hair. Please don't. There's some little girls that there was a, they didn't want to get, their, get rid of their hair, but they want to donate it. They're not doing it this much. I said, sorry, you have to have donate to, at least, yeah. at least eight right. inches. Right. So they would start crying and some of it like that kind of little crying that happened with the, some couple of girls. Because yes. they, they wanted to donate it, but then still they were, I see. Personal. We're not charging yeah. you, so you Change. cannot cry. I said, you know, I said, we're not right. charging you, you cannot cry. Well, especially in high school. I mean, like, hair yeah. really, like, defines who it's you amazing. are, as a, you yeah. know, in high school, and girls can, you Everywhere. know, it's, it's a huge. huge. Well, for, yeah, I agree. Yes. I think for, for everyone, males yeah. and females alike, exactly. hair is yeah. a big exactly. part of our identity, so. It's a big part of your comfort, you know, it's like a security blanket, right. almost, and exactly. I couldn't imagine not having that, you know. Exactly. If you, you can wear five thousand, ten thousand dollars worth of dress and jewelry and everything, but you have no like not good hair, yeah. Or you haven't put together, you cannot carry your you look. Don't feel it's good. Not Just you don't not feel look good. good, not feel good. Well, that's it's not that, the same. Hair that is quote bad it's hair day. Yeah, bad hair. <laughs> bad hair day. Yeah, bad hair. Um, that's that's, that's how you come to Tawana. <laughs> Absolutely. I know. I'm. We're good. We're, um, we're going. We're talking about community too, and amongst the high schools, amongst all the kids. Kim and I had some really good experiences with the district people because like right. Dr. Wilson, Kim um, emailed yes. him or yeah. called him. He, she had an email the next day. Right. Can you guys Absolutely. come into the principal's office? Um, Kevin Hahn, or sorry, Kevin yeah, Kevin Hahn, Hahn uh -huh. um, organized the, the elementary schools. And we yeah. had, I mean, I don't believe anybody we talked to said no to us. Right. Yeah. All the high school principals. Everybody. And F F F Fossil yeah. next year is going to pick yeah. it up because we wanted it to be a, a traveling yeah. event. And 